Mike here, um, here with the absolutely wonderful 2023 Lexus LS500. And this is actually all wheel drive. So if you're wondering why it sits a little bit higher than normal, that's because this is an all wheel drive car. Um, you probably noticed I have on a Hot Wheels shirt and a Mobile One hat. And you'll see right there, I was uh, very honored earlier this morning to be a judge for Hot Wheels for their Atlanta Legends Tour. And from there, I have driven straight here to do this photo shoot. Um, and shout out to obviously Diego and Ryan for uh, making this happen with me. So yeah, wonderful LS500 uh, all wheel drive. As you know, uh, I have some history with this car myself being a previous LS460 uh, F-Sport owner. And this is an F-Sport as well. And compared to my car, which uh, it looked fabulous as an F-Sport and it had upgrades, it had Brembo brakes, it's a slightly different suspension, aluminum trim. Didn't matter what I did to it, it never really drove that sporty. And I have to say, the LS500 drives completely different. And I truly mean this. It's, it's very similar to the LX. Um, I had the 570, now I'm in the 600. And I tell people all the time, you don't really understand the difference um, until you drive both. And it's because of the new platform and those turbo engines. I know that's been an area of concern. Oh, it doesn't have a V8, I gotta. But these engines are just more powerful uh, with better um, efficiency. Beautiful Atomic Silver. I would say I'm pretty close to a legendary Lexus color. Um, red interior on this car sitting on 19 inch wheels, massive brakes front and rear. And one thing about the LS that you gotta understand is under normal conditions, it drives like an LS. Has all the Lexus hallmarks, it's quiet, it's smooth. I mean, the interior is absolutely well built, just as well built as anything I've ever seen. It's when you push it. And that's not something a lot of you might not, might do in your LS, but that is something that I do. As you know, I, I, I like going to the track and Shout out to Lexus Racing, you know how much I love them and being a part of that, that organization. It drives really, really well. Um, unlike any LS before, that might confuse some people. Like really an LS? I am not joking. When you take this through its paces, you put it in a Sport Plus, even stock as it is, handles absolutely great. Um, I think a big thing you gotta do is make sure that you're using your paddle shifters, make sure that transmission is where you want it to be. But the the platform is so much better than the past. The brakes are absolutely phenomenal. I actually have a really good time taking this into corners a lot faster than you would think. And again, having been scared with this car, obviously having all wheel drive saves me a ton if I do get in a little bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic on the road. The interior, absolutely fabulous. I love the aluminum trim in the F-Sport. I love that red stitching that happens into the seat. I love the floating armrest, such a great feature. I mean, this car has that distinct Japanese craftsmanship that I love, obviously. And one big change was it has that massive 12.3 inch screen. Remote touch has gone away. We have a touch screen now, Apple CarPlay. Everything you need is right there. Lexus interface as well. Um, it's just a much better multimedia system than in the past. And as you can tell, I put Terrence and Darren in the car. It is a big car. I know some people have talked about rear seat room, et cetera, but these are two big guys like me and they fit perfectly fine. Um, and most people driving it probably aren't gonna be tall either. So I think that's a little bit overblown. I think sometimes people we've gotten, we complain about everything so much. I remember my first family car was a Nissan Sentra two-door. And there's four of us in this car and I'm in my sister in the back seat and I was fine. So I'm like, how can this not be roomy? Like, what, what are we talking about? Um, headroom isn't as massive, I think, as the 460, but still, I think it's a great place to be. Michael loves that, 
rear second section of the of the sunroof. So it's a full panoramic roof is an option. It does have heads of display, which is an option, um, but it has two different panels. So compared to like the RX where I slide back one way, this has two separate sections. It's kind of cool. So the people in the back kind of have their own personal uh, sunroof. And if they don't want it, they can actually close it. I think that's a pretty cool thing. So personally, this car starts about right over $80,000. I think that's a absolute bargain, especially today's age. It seems like everything has just gone through the roof with how things cost. I just think for 80 grand to start or right around 80, 82 grand, like you're getting an absolutely amazingly built twin turbo V6, absolutely wonderful car. I just think it's a bargain. Even loaded, I, I went filled out with options. Um, if you go for a rear wheel drive, you can get the um, sport package, you get adaptive rear steering, everything else in the world. It's about still under a hundred grand. So it's like a 98, 99 grand car. And I still think that's a bargain. Um, and it looks great. It's aged to me really gracefully. I actually like it more than before. And uh, that refresh, I like the pre-refresh. I like post-refresh. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So a lot of people might say, oh, it's still an old person's car. I don't agree with that at all. Uh, I had an LS 460 at 35, 36, I don't remember. And there's a huge VIP scene, obviously in Japan, in the USA. And believe it or not, here in Atlanta, I want to give a quick shout out to the Infamous Society crew. I chat with Larry a lot. I mean, he's just a legend in the game. And then I have a really good friend who's about to pull up. I want to use my platform to highlight some amazing people in this community. And one of them is Terrence. And uh, he's known as, I think, T500F Sport now on Instagram. And his LS, every time I see it, I'm just like, wow. And that was his segue to come, but he doesn't, he's on the phone. He doesn't see me. We were going to do a perfect segue and he still doesn't see me. I don't know what he's doing. He's on the, on the gram. I, this is hilarious. He still doesn't see me. I'm going to honk the horn now. He's still, hopefully now he pays attention and he can come over here. Maybe he's asleep in the car at this point. I have no idea. I kept waving at Terrence and I don't know what he was doing in his car. You can see him back there. Look, you can show him. It's okay, Diego. And he was on the ground. I don't know what he was doing. Amazing guy. I've known him forever. Um, I love what he's done to his LS. So you're going to see that. The community, again, I want to use this platform to highlight amazing people, not just in the Lex community, car community as a whole. Um, and Terrence is one of the nicest people. And I'm so happy with what he's done with his car. I wouldn't change a thing, I don't think. Here he comes. Wow. And of course, he's going to go low. Look at that. man Terrence what's up man what's up man all right so LS 500 F Sport this is your new baby um man let's talk about where you came from first like what was, what was your first two Lexus I know I, I definitely remember the Ruby LS 460 but just tell me a little bit about your history yeah well my first Lexus was the uh LS 430 charcoal gray um my first time getting into Lexus. Um, checked out all the other luxury brands, but one of something that was, when I modded, it was gonna be reliable, didn't have to really worry about issues. And uh, so far it's proven true. And then after that was the 460? Yeah, I had a blue 460 short wheelbase. That's, right, that's right. That one got totaled. Right, right. You remember that, cause you had the GS? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hybrid. Long right? time ago, yeah. Yeah. And then um, that's when I got an L. Okay. Because I should have went L to the first place. Right. So uh, that's Ruby when you remember. Yes. Yes. And then now that brings us to the LS500 F Sport. So uh, it's been a, so far, the ownership experience has been a blast. Uh, I've been loving it so far and, there, and all the, you know, touches I've done to it. So uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about some of that. So obviously the first thing you notice is the ride height difference, right? I just saw your text message joking me saying I have an SUV. Uh, LS crossover. So you're on what, Air Runner, Air Lift? Cause you didn't use the stock. Cause for those that don't know, the LS uh, comes with a stock suspension where um, there's no air management. And then there's an optional air suspension that's actually factory. And some people will use the module, buy the module, right. and you can raise and lower it. That's what we used to do in our 460s. Yeah, yeah, we, the data controller. Data controller. Yeah. We, but for this baby, when you wanted to go all out, you went independent. So let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So. Uh, the data controller, they do make one for this model with the factory air suspension. It's just essentially you just hack it into it right. to bring it down to 
uh, a more acceptable ride height, right, per se. Right, right. Uh, but you can only go so low with that. Right. So if you truly want to customize it, raise your car up and down fast, yeah. a lot faster rate, you can go after market air. And that, that's ultimately the goal I, I wanted, and that's the route I took. So you're on Air Runner, Airlift. Yeah, so it's Air Runner bags and Airlift 3P management. And these wheels have some history in our crew because these used to be Darren's, right? Exactly. He had so a they, badass uh, 460 Escort. Right, right. Yeah. So he, they were gold, and uh, he got rid of the car. I said, yeah, I did no deals on those wheels. And they were originally going to be for the 460 yeah, Ruby. Oh. Uh, but then I, you know, I got rid of it and then I uh, repurposed them for the, for the, uh, for the 500. So yeah, man, carbon everywhere. I mean, the theme, I saw the sticker in the back. Moon Knight is, is what she's called, right? Yeah. That's the, so that's the car's name, name Moon Knight, okay. black and white. All right. One of my favorite Marvel characters. So, and I saw the sign. I know it's going to, a lot of people are going to feel that, you know, fuck cancer. Um, you know, how does, what, what does that sticker mean to you? Yeah, so for well, cancer, you know, my wife, she uh, she's battling cancer right now. Uh, she's still in the fight, pushing through, you know. So it, it's definitely been a journey. Uh, so uh, I show my support in that way on this bill and by adding that sticker, for cancer. Yeah, I, I, it was actually my first time noticing it. I thought that was beautiful, man. I mean, you know, and, and that's what the career is about. I was I, earlier, I was I brought up, you know, Infinite Society and Larry and these guys. And you know, some of this VIP culture here in Atlanta that a lot of people still sleeping on. And I mean, cars like this, I mean, this LS 500 is still kind of unexpected. And when you see it like this, it's even more unexpected. Like, let's talk about when you go to shows and events. I mean, I'm seeing your car everywhere. How does that make you feel? And, and what are your next steps, you think? Well, you know, one, first I want to give a shout out to Larry from Infamous because he did help bag this car. Larry, so shout out, yeah. Godfather. Yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a very, very good friend of mine, and he, you know, he's, he's standing to help me get the car to, you know, to this, you know, to the point where, you know, I can start pursuing my dreams of how I want to build it. Um, the reception, you know, we do this for us. We do. At the end of the day, I got to live with this car. I got to see this car every day. I do this for me. So if they rock with it, cool. If they don't rock with it, I'm still cool. I you know what I'm saying? So I still got to, you know, with anything in this hobby, you're never done. True. Right, it's always something to do. So I still got a lot of way. I still have the ways to go before it sees this full vision that I have for. Well, you talked about, uh, I think Justin, and shout out to Justin too. He's a great guy. Yeah, shout out to Justin as well. You, you, got, new, you got a new tank coming, I think you said. Yeah, and also Justin as well as Larry help with the installation of bagging the no, car. So great shout guys. out to Justin. Atlanta has such a yeah, again amazing community. I think a lot of people still sleep on us. We're trying to like let it more be known. This this VIP culture. Obviously, the Lexus culture here is huge. Um, so I see T500 F Sport on your windshield. Is there anywhere else people should follow you? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, it's the same handle on TikTok for the people that's on TikTok and not on Instagram. They also can follow the, the car. The car is on there as well. And that's the only two social media platforms that the car has its own page. So you, you won't see me on it. it so, well, T man, always good catching up with you. I'm glad we could actually do something like this officially. Right. Much love always. And man, every time I see your car, I just, nah, personally, I'm so happy for you because I know your vision got executed perfectly. It's one of the most beautiful rides, I think, anywhere uh, in the world. It's just, I, I don't think I would change a thing. And um, wow. one thing, I ooh, one thing before I shut it down, one thing, my favorite part is these fog lamps. Turn those headlights on and let's talk about the fog lamps. Uh, are they on? They're on. They're on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So these were custom aim game. Aim game fog lights. But it wasn't just plug and play right you had to take the whole bump right it was like, yeah it's, yeah it's, it's a lot of labor into making something love that, that you would think it should be simple so yeah i love fox Ram, so yeah. uh that's maybe my favorite mod man well again thanks again bro hey man appreciate it and uh let's go get some food yeah, hey, everybody sure. uh thank you all for watching i'm just you know showing love as i can this is not sponsored by anybody i do this on my own um just to to share the culture now I really want to showcase some amazing people in Atlanta hopefully around the United States and around the world that um should be highlighted and um thanks for watching and uh let's go eat because I'm starving yes sir peace, peace.